This is going to be a very quick video about an ESP, well I should say ESP programmer, I bought this because I wanted an ESP programmer, but this is actually uh, like a serial USB interface for the very original ESP01 modules. And the, oops, sorry, these are the ESP01 modules, which you have seen in previous video on some, mod, um, on some yeah, kits that I've got recently. Because I want to do some more work with this, oh by the way, these kits, let me just zoom out, is, well, you probably have seen the video on this one, this tube relay module, but I also got this other one, which is this temperature sensor module, also works on an ESP01. And because I need to, well for this one, I definitely need to put the firmware on, and for this other one, I'm planning to do a separate video where I test with, this, uh, with um, a different firmware. I want to be able to program these and it's not really difficult I mean it's you only need a couple of passives and, and a USB UART uh, interface but I'm, I'm just lazy so I just wanted to find something which is specifically designed for these boards and that's it so as you can see it has the same 8 pin header and you just plug it in like so and then, then you're good. You plug it into your USB and then you can program it. Or you could, because this is designed as a USB to serial interface. You probably know from many of my other videos, in order to program an ESP uh, 8266, you need to bring the GPIO0 down to ground. So that would need a button somewhere where you press when you want to program, when you power it up. Otherwise, if you're not pressed, it just acts as a UART and then you can, you know, connect to the serial port and you can see the messages. So, uh, this one is missing that button. So, the first thing that I need to do is I need to put a programming button on it and then we can use it as a programmer and also as a serial USB monitor. This FTDI module is a little bit hard to find on icstation.com because um, I would expect that it contains ESP01 because that's specifically on the ESP01 but it only says ESP8266 and doesn't say anything about FTDI or programmer so it is called the USB to Wi-Fi module, ESP8266, pinboard, cell phone, PC wireless communication module so probably not the best description. As you can see from the product page, it contains a CH340 USB to serial adapter. So if your Windows doesn't recognize uh, the USB device automatically, then search for this driver. It is normally 299 US, free shipping, but at the moment it is selling at 225 US. It turns out that I actually had to make two small changes to this uh, converter. So the first of all is I had to solder this button on, so you press this while plugging it in if you want to program the chip otherwise it just uh, acts as a normal normal UART but I also had to put this jumper link in here to pull the chip enable pin to high uh, to VCC that doesn't seem to impact the, uh, the UART functionality so it works even with or without that but it is definitely required for the programming so again if you want to turn this type of uh, USB to ESP01 board to a programming board, uh, solder these two pins together. So if you hold it like this, that's the th first and the third pin in the left column, and then put a like a button, which uh, I just use this tactile switch, and I'm just going to put it into a heat shrink just to make sure it doesn't really short, uh, short out anything as it's uh, flapping around in the breeze. So the, the button goes between the, the second and the fourth pin in the right column. And before you start commenting, I'm aware that uh, from different sources like eBay, you can buy programmers, uh, again, ESP01 programmers, which has a, a separate switch, so you can switch them between UART mode and programming mode. But if you happen to pick up something like this, at least you know how to convert it to like a programming USB converter. So I plugged the, the USB in while the button was pressed, and now the um, the laptop has finished compiling the sketch and as you can see it's uploading to the ESP so it works just like a programmer. And if I plug it in without pressing the button then it just works as a UART so I can you know, monitor the serial traffic uh, from the ESP. And you can see the serial monitor working so the ESP just restarted and it's giving me the information well, the way you would normally expect uh, from a serial to USB converter. And that's how it looks like with a heat shrink wrap around the button. And, of course, the button still works. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.